In this whole entire section, we're going to be creating titles, text, and graphics. I'll be working with the titles, working with the presets. We'll be importing some graphics, kind of learning some stuff about alpha channels, and then we'll learn how to animate the text and graphics and effects also. We are going to be going over the essential graphics panel and creating some titles. Let's go ahead and open up our project. So your sequence should open up to this. We're going to create a new sequence. Now let's do a DNX HD, DNX HQ being high quality, 1080p, 2997, the broadcast standard. We're going to just title this Essential Graphics Panel, EGP. Hit OK on that. That should open up. Now we should have two sequences. So here's our original sequence, and then here's our new sequence. It's got nothing in it. Let's click on the Graphics Panel. And when this loads, we will see the Essential Graphics Panel. Taking a look at this, what we're going to do is just create a quick CG and kind of go over the fundamentals and the different tabs in this panel here. So let's click on the Text tool and just click it here in the middle to create a text, and we'll go over this. So if you click on the Browse tab, what this is is all the Adobe Premiere templates that they have created. And then if you make and create your own templates, they would be saved and stored in here too. We'll go over that in another tutorial, or it's more of, a, of an advanced feature. Let's go ahead and click on this Edit tab. And with this, we're going to go ahead and type our test, test text. Just kind of demonstrate what is going on here. So right here, we have different layers of what is in this essential graphics. You can have quite a few different layers of text. You can also have graphics and stuff to be able to create graphics. If you click on this tab, you can choose rectangle, ellipse, other text, or to create another text, you can choose it right here, or you can go on over to the text type tool and just click on that and click in here like we did before, and you have another variation of text. So here's layer two. There we go. So that being said, click on this. We're going to create a rectangle to demonstrate some other things. Here's our rectangle. If we click on our selection tool, we can move that rectangle and also resize it. So let's do that. This layer two, I'm not really a big fan of it. Let's get rid of it. We're going to go ahead and hit clear, or you can just select it and hit the delete key. So right now we don't have any text. We can't see it. That's one of the functions of this layering here. If we click and drag on the shape and drag it below, then we can actually see our text because now the text is on top of that shape. Now choosing our text, we can go further with this. We have this responsive design position. What this is used for is we can marry the text and the shape together. So if we were to change the text here, like say if we just kind of type a bunch of stuff, then that shape would actually change in size in relationship to that text. That's more of an advanced feature, and we will go over that in another uh, tutorial. Shorten that up again. Double-clicking on that selects all the text. And then we also have our alignment tools, alignment and transform. So if we want to make this in the center of the screen, we can align it vertically and horizontally along with that shape. We can align vertically and horizontally. If you just noticed, these menus kind of show us different things on what is actually chosen. So the shape is just things that pertain to what shapes need and text, things that pertain to the text. So the next tab within here is the master styles. This is where you would save and create your text templates. So if you really like this font of Arial or this is Tahoma, we can go ahead and save that as a template. Next section is the text. So here, if I double click, on there, then I can go ahead and choose a different font. So, and then we also have like the different weights of the font and stuff. If we wanted to change the size of the font, that's how we would do that. I'm just double clicking on that and then typing in 100, just reset that. We can also do our text alignment within that text box, which is different than the alignment on the page. These alignments are for the page, these alignments are for the text box. So we're just going to leave that left justified. Then we also have our tracking, our kerning, our letting, and our baseline shift. Further down is the appearance. In section one, we go a little bit more into the detail of the appearance tab here. There's uh, some new things to the essential graphics in here within Premiere 2020. 
but we'll quickly just kind of go over a couple of things. The first one being the fill. So right now the fill is white. Let's say, hey, let's just make it a little bit prettier. We'll make it blue. Can't really see it on that shape background very well. So let's go ahead and click on the shape, click on the fill, change that to white, and bam, we can see it a little bit better. Clicking back on the text here, we can also add a stroke. Let's just add a nice black stroke. Oh, let's make it like 15 so we can really see it. Ooh, look at that. You can add a background to the text itself, which is different than the shape. So this background is kind of tied to what the text is, which is nice and handy. I prefer creating a shape and I have more control over it. We can also do a drop shadow onto that text to kind of get it to stand a little bit better off that background.